Alrighty, so this is Escape Room Artist and I'm doing a quick tutorial on health timers. Okay, so um, we're going to do a time. There we go. Let me get out of here. Sorry. I'm going to do a health timer on. Um, we'll make this skull right here. We'll make him disappear in and out of the water. So, place the skull right there. And what we want him to do is pop up and pop down. So, we will put him on a platform and we'll make him go let's go 10 high um, yeah make him go 10 high and then let's do a platform speed of 5 and actually you know what I want to check that let's see how tall this skull is first because that, that will matter so one it looks like it's about two blocks tall okay so that means we'd want it to move two blocks a second oh sorry I'm getting all lost in my my kool-aid here alright get here so yeah, that's, so five blocks a second is the speed. So it'd take two seconds to go up, two seconds to come back down. Um, yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, the wait duration, we don't want any duration. And what that means is waiting at the top of the platform or at the bottom. Okay, uh, what else we want to do is we want to put it on a toggle so that we have control over it. Otherwise, it will just go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So I've already kind of played around with this and I uh, use this fish jump. So fish jump will turn it on, this fish hide. Uh, message will turn it low or turn it off we don't want a trigger point so we'll turn that to none the initial behavior will be um, actually we'll, we'll turn that off and let's see here oh and then we want to give this the tag fish Okay, so now we're just going to move that into the water. So move it over here, move it here. Let's just put it just under the water, right about there. Okay, so now we're done with that. So let's put two blocks here. It's all, oh. Let's put, there we go, two blocks tall. And then let's grab a switch. Let's just do a switch. Um, okay, let's do a lever. There we go. I always forget what they call it, because I don't use these often. All right. So we'll put that there. We'll get it turned around. Let's go to 70, and then let's bring him up, and then we'll bring him in, too far in, alright, let's bring him back out, there we go, good enough, okay, and that's just to trigger initially this to go up. So just to show you that it's doing its thing, let it, let's just go ahead and test that out. So here we go. We got, oh, we need to get rid of that little label there. Oops, I hit the wrong button, sorry. 
I hit tab instead of the interact button. Okay. So there we go. Look at him. He's going up, coming down, up, and down. Okay, so that works good. Alright, so let's connect into this guy again. And first of all, let's take this stupid indicator off because we don't need to know it's a switch because we're smart enough to figure that out. Okay. So now the next thing you want to do is you want to get a numpad. And we will actually need two of these. But I'll actually I'll wait until I lay the first one down. Alright, so this guy, now we, what we want to do is we want to remove this button behavior. Uh, also remove the indicator, basically clear everything out. And then we want to put a health component on it because that's what we're going to use for our timer and um, yeah so now edit logic we want it to be resettable that way we, it will go and uh, when it dies then it resets itself so that it can be switched on again okay so death delay we're gonna go with I'll just I'll just goof around here right now and just say five seconds I know that's not it but we'll go go with it for now so the instant death message this is what triggers this health delay uh, and we want to do it on the fish jump and we don't need any kind of life bar on it and then after it's after it dies we want it to do fish hide by doing fish hide that will activate the next numpad and we want to send that to both oops okay let's type that again we want to send that to fish and then we also want to send that to fish fish dot hide dot trigger because we want to be able to control or send that message to the trigger as well as to the fish or the skull in this case okay and then we would need to add a tag for this one this is fish dot jump dot trigger alrighty so fish dot jump dot trigger we need to send this message fish hide to both fish and fish hide trigger okay we should be done with that one get back above the ground here okay I want to select it I want to shift control and D that way it makes a copy of it duplicates it bring it back over here this one we are going to get rid of this one this tag which was fish to hide dot trigger this will be fish dot jump dot trigger and I may have actually got those backwards I'll go back and look at it. actually you know what let's go look at it now this is jump trigger okay so I didn't get it backwards I just got it wrong that time okay so get rid of that now this will be fish dot hide dot trigger okay there we go and then we want to switch these around we want to make this a fish dot hide because that's what we're going to use for to kill this timer and then after that timer is all up we want it to do fish dot jump 
And then we want to send that fish dot jump to both the fish as well as this one, which is not fish dot hide dot trigger, but fish dot jump trigger. Okay. So that we should be all good, I believe. The only thing I want to do is this is your timer in which it's hidden. So it, let's hide it for 20 seconds. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, let's just run that real quick and see. Uh, well, let's save it first. Saved. Saving. Saving. All right, we're saved. All right, here we go. Now let's run it. So nothing's gonna happen here until I trigger this. But you'll notice when I trigger it, that numpad on the left will die. So it goes up, comes down, five seconds later, it dies. So we're stuck in the air there. And then so 20 seconds later, that numpad on the right should die, which then will start that back up again. It'll start the fish jumping. So there we go. That works correctly. Okay, so now we gotta figure out our skull timing. Or in this case, fish because we don't want them stuck up in the air like that. That just doesn't make sense. Alrighty. So we moved that skull 10. And we figured out that it is two blocks high. So two blocks high. First of all, that seems kind of crazy to even go that high. But so it's two blocks high. Let's let's make that go to six instead of ten. Okay. Even that even that looks high. Let's so oh shoot, I did I just delete it. Let's go back. There we go. So yeah, let's make that let's make that yeah, let's just hey, let's go. Let's make that six with a platform speed of six so in one second it should be, make it all the way to the top so our timer because we want one second up and one second down we want the initial timer to actually be two seconds right but I'm going to show you something two seconds won't work here we go Let's run it. Two seconds. Here we go. Boom. One, two. And you notice it has a little bounce there at the end. And that's because if you noticed that numpad dying, it has a death delay animation. And that animation takes up some of that time. So you actually have to account for that in there. And so and you'll have to account for... 0.475 that's how long that death animation is so what you do is you make it 1.525 so when you make it 1.525 now you'll you'll end perfectly at the bottom of the of the um, of the platform Alrighty, so let's give that a go. If you noticed, it turned to two right here. Uh, that's just because it rounds up to whole numbers. Don't be alarmed by it. That's still 1.525. All right, let's, so let's save that once again. We are saving, save it. All right, let's run it. So once again, let's run over here. Oop, too far. All right. There I am. Lined up. Here we go. We're hitting it. Boom. So it goes up and... Oh. 
Okay, so I have one of my calculations off somewhere. Yeah, I have one of my calculations off it. Maybe it's... Alright, let's run it again. Make sure I'm not goofy in this. Okay, boom. Yep, I am. I'm off. So it may take some fiddling with. Uh, so that goes up. One second, two second. Okay, so that, that has me thinking here. Why does it have me thinking? Did I get that wrong? Is it 2.525? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe, maybe that's where I'm wrong. Alright, let's give that a go. Let's run it. Okay, we're there. We're going to hit it. Boom. Up and down. Nope. Definitely not 525. Or, er, definitely not 2.525. Did I not me measure that skull right? Maybe that's what it is. So I did this earlier. With something that was five tall. You know what? Let's let's just do it this way. Let's make the skull. Instead, let's just make it go four high. Okay, four high and platform speed of two. Okay. Now we should be able to set the health component to one point five two five. And that should get it, I think. And if not, then we can adjust it some more. Here we go. Oh, that's way too slow. That definitely won't work. <laughs> um, So it's, f oh no, there we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Okay, so for, so for the height, we, we're moving it four. So we need it to move one second up and then one second down. Duh, oh my gosh. Now it will work. Now I know for a fact it'll work. Here we go, boom. I was just having a brain fart moment. So here we go. It's up and down. Oh, still didn't work. What is going on? I did it earlier playing around with some different assets. Here we go. Is that what it is? One point four seven five. Definitely not that. Alright, 
right, so I'm just going to play around with this until I find... Find the magic. I thought it was that, though. You know what it may be? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's check this. I may not be... I may be too far under the water. No? So four high, we go four a second. So that's four up, four down. So it should be two seconds. But we can't do a flat two because of the bounce. I think I figured it out. So one of the things I'm not calculating is starting to lose my mind on this. Here we go. So add a logic. So I'll be one second to get up there, one second to get back down. So if we did just a flat two, I'm just going to play around with it here. Let's see here. Flat two shouldn't work. Yeah, because it bounces. So I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking. This is meant to be a whole lot more informative and not research. So 1.575. Is, is that where I got wrong? I have the wrong calculation. Four two five and five seven five instead of five two five. All right, so here we go. Boom, up and down, closer. All right. So let's go one point. Six, seven, five. I just have a feeling all this is going to act up. I'm going to have to probably. Mm, look there, that worked. So we'll wait the 20 seconds. I'm not sure why six seven five. That doesn't make sense to me. So I'm guessing I have the calculation wrong. I mean that seems to be working. So you may have to play with it. You may have to figure out what is the the right speed for you. Yep, there we go. Okay, well, so there you go. Sorry this was a little bit longer video. I wasn't expecting it to give me as much trouble as it did. But there you go. You see it it continues to loop uh, every, so, every so many seconds, which is, for me, I have it set up for 20 seconds. I'll go back through the details here. All right. So what we did here is we set this plat, this... Uh, skull aka fish on a basic platform uh, we moved it it is it's it, it itself is two blocks tall 
So two blocks and two blocks. We got it to move four blocks up uh, with a weight duration of zero, meaning it doesn't weight at the top and it doesn't weight at the bottom of, of its movement. Okay, uh, it is toggled by fish jump. Um, so once you flip this switch, we send the message fish jump. Fish jump then turns on this health component so that it will die. We sent a time delay, this death delay of 1.675. Kind of weird, but that's what we did. Uh, it's resettable, so it you know continues to reset on its own and continue to run. Uh, when it dies, it sends fish hide to both the fish, which is the skull, and fish hide trigger, which is this other numpad. Okay, when that numpad receives the fish hide message, it itself dies. Um, and then it takes 20 seconds, in my case, to die. And then after that, it sends fish jump back to that fish, as well as to the fish jump trigger, as you see here, to start this sequence all over again. Well, I hope that does it for you. Um, I'm going to try to do mo more tutorials like this. This was fun, even though it gave me a little fit there. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy with this. Hopefully this will help you in your journey. By the way, look at my uh, Steve Aoki um, avatar. He's looking mighty dapper. Alrighty. So, have a good night, and I uh, hope to do more of these for you. There we go. Boom. You know what? Let's jump on him. There you go. All right, I'm out.